as the PTI faced uncertainty over its iconic bat symbol in the Supreme Court, the party executed its plan B. Instructing candidates to submit PTI Nazariyati tickets, the party sought an alliance with its splinter group for the batsman symbol. This move followed concerns of losing the bat symbol after the ECP challenged the PHC's decision. PTI aimed for similarity between the bat and batsman symbols to ease voter identification. The decision to ally with PTI Nazriyati aimed to avoid confusion if separate symbols were granted. Interestingly, PTI had earlier posed the batsman symbol fearing confusion. While details of the agreement remain unclear, the PTI expressed readiness to accommodate PTI Nazriyati candidates. Simultaneously, the ECP warned against deceptive attempts and reiterated strict adherence to symbol allotment rules. The Supreme Court reserved its verdict on the Election Commission of Pakistan's appeal against reinstating PTI's bat symbol. The court heard arguments from both sides, expressing concerns about PTI's intra-party polls transparency. The Chief Justice emphasized the importance of democracy, urging a fair election process. PTI argued against ECP's authority to scrutinize intra-party polls. PTI contended their elections followed party rules and criticized ECP's alleged discrimination. The CJP questioned PTI's fair of elections and demanded proof of conducted intra-party polls. ECP's petition emphasized PHC's interference in electoral processes and nullification of key sections, urging the Supreme Court to uphold democratic principles. The verdict is said to be announced later. Millions of Taiwanese casted their votes amid rising tensions with China, which warned that choosing the wrong leader could lead to war. Beijing labeled frontrunner Lai ching te a dangerous separatist and vowed to crush any move toward Taiwanese independence. China claims Taiwan as its own and threatens the use of force for unification. Voting took place across nearly 18,000 polling stations, with strict election laws preventing media from discussing voter choices. Results are anticipated Saturday evening, with global attention on the outcome as China and the United States vie for influence in the region. Lai of the Democratic Progressive Party positioned himself as a defender of Taiwan's democracy, while his opponent Ho Yui of the Kuomintang favors warmer ties with China. Amid military pressure from China, the election's impact resonates beyond Taiwan's borders, particularly considering its strategic importance in semiconductor production. As the island votes, China's military rhetoric and pressure on Taiwan remain significant concerns. PTI Chairman Gohar Ali Khan reported a harrowing break-in at his residence by masked assailants. The intrusion resulted in the assault of Khan's son and nephew while he attended a Supreme Court hearing on his party's electoral symbol. Khan urgently informed Chief Justice Qasi Faiz Isa, revealing that intruders not only roughed up his family but also seized crucial items, including a computer and documents. Seeking an excuse from the hearing due to the severity of the incident, Khan later returned describing the situation as very serious. Despite the gravity, Chief Justice Isa instructed additional Attorney General Chaudhary Amir Rahman to swiftly address the matter. The Attorney General promptly left the court to assess the situation. In an unwavering stance, Khan chose to continue with the hearing. Subsequently, Islamabad police, responding to instructions from the ICCPO, visited Gohar's residence for preliminary information, assuring impartial investigation and emphasizing equal application of the law with potential actions against any guilty police officer after Gohar concludes court proceedings.